If you love God, prove it. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So let's look up some words. Deceitful, guilty of or involving deceit, deceiving or misleading others, wicked evil or morally wrong desperately used to emphasize the extreme degree of something okay so the heart is deceitful above all things so in my own words I believe this is saying Your heart can deceive you and other people. Okay. And desperately wicked. So what this is saying to me in my own words, I believe this is saying that our hearts can be wicked. So I believe without the intervention of Jesus Christ, I believe all of our hearts are wicked. So I believe if a person chooses to not follow the rules and regulations of the Bible, I believe their heart is wicked. Let me say this too. Now, if your heart is wicked, I believe your feelings are going to be the same as well. Okay, let me say this. If your feelings are wicked, is it wise to follow your feelings? If your feelings goes against the Bible, is it wise to follow your feelings? Kevin, I feel like this is right. Yeah, I know that it is not right in the Bible, but I feel like this is something I should do. Listen, if it goes against the Bible, how can it work for you? If a person continues to go against the Bible, How can their lives turn out well? And you may say to me, Kevin, I see rich people, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I believe a person can be cursed even though they may have money. So being rich doesn't mean that person is right with God. Think about that. So if your feelings goes against what the Bible say, we need to reject it. Think about that. Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.